What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, and I'm back with some boxing talk. When is heavyweight contender Jarrell Big Baby Miller going to step up his competition? This weekend, he blasted away 41-year-old former uh, two-division champion, long-faded Tomas Ottomick in a fight that was took place in Chicago on the DAZN app. And I mean, come on, bro. This motherfucker, Jarrell Miller, outweighed Tomas Adamick by 90 fucking pounds. 90 fucking pounds. That shit is ridiculous. He came in at 317 pounds. 317 pounds, bro. That shit is ridiculous, man. And this guy continues to call out all these fighters. He, he disses Luis Ortiz. He didn't diss uh, Anthony Joshua. He diss Deontay Wilder. Shit, Tyson Fury said he dropped him seven times in a sparring session. Yet, this motherfucker don't want to fight nobody. I understand he close to a title shot. He could have fought Kubrat, Pulev. Yeah, it may have been in another country. But, dude, the way this motherfucker talk, you think, goddamn, he confident of beating anybody anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Obviously... He's not at the forefront of Wilder or Joshua's mind. They're trying to, they're champions. They've been talking to fight each other. And then you got other guys that like Luis Ortiz, hell, Joseph Parker who on a two-fight losing streak would be a very good matchup for Jarrell Miller. You got Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? You got these guys who are more than capable. Hell, Dillian White, Derek Chisora, somebody. Somebody other than Tomas Ottomick, um, fucking Johan Duhafis. Now he might be fighting Fresh Uquendo, uh, Uquendo, excuse me, um, who was supposed to fight uh, Walk, who tested positive for a performance enhancing drug. And now that Miller is so high in the rankings, that is a fight he likely to fight next against a 45 year old Fresh Uquendo who has been injury prone, who has seemed to be forever holding that damn WBA title or that number one mandatory position for the longest. And now, Jarrell Big Baby Miller may finally get his title shot to fight for that um, secondary title. And this shit is crazy, man. Jar Jarrell Big Baby Miller is whack, bro. I mean, he okay fighter, but this dude, he talks, talk, 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 but refuses to fight anybody worth any damn thing and that is the problem with boxing man that is the problem with fucking boxing that's what pushes the fans away you got these big loud mouth motherfuckers who say they this who say they that but then fight a motherfucker that's either trash or way past their prime that won't push them that won't challenge them to really see how good they really are you know and Jarrell Big Baby Miller is a prime example man all talk no bite until this motherfucker steps up and face somebody, I'm on his head. I don't care if he don't like it. I don't care if nobody don't like it. You know, he ain't fought a, nobody. You know, he fought Drew Washington. That's a good victory. But come on, man. Come on. And shit, all the fucking sparring session stories we done heard is of him getting his head whooped. Heard uh, Deontay Wilder gave him concu concussion, whooped his ass. Tyson Fury just came out recently, said that fucking he dropped him six, seven times in their sparring session. Somebody ain't lying. Somebody tell him the truth. You know, I think that Big Baby Miller know deep down in his heart that he ain't as good as he says he is. And when he steps up, he's going to find out the hard way. He's going to be brutally humbled. And I don't know what he's waiting for. I don't know what he's waiting for. You know, if I'm him, you need to take these mandatory uh, opportunities, defeat them, and get your position that way. Because it's obvious Eddie Hearn and them just throwing your name out there. You ain't got a title shot yet. Deontay Wilder them ain't been looking your way. So you need to be trying to fight these guys in these title eliminators or try to fight a Dillian White, a Derek Chisora, a T uh, or a Luis Ortiz, a Joseph Parker. Somebody. God damn, somebody. But yeah, man, this is a big problem in boxing. And he one of the reasons why. You know what I'm saying? Fans are put off by the lack of competitive fights, by the lack of want to, by these guys who have yet to be proven. But when he steps up, he will no doubt in my mind find out that 
we will find out that he, he was nothing more than a big mouth motherfucker who feasted on guys that were below his level or past their prime or who just wasn't that good. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop your comments in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news and information reported the way it should be. Shout out to the LDBC and everybody in between. Until next time, I am out. Peace.